million people in the country don't currently have access to safe water. Another 4.6 million people only have limited access to safe water. This leads us to our sub point B, which is climate change. Spencer and Carafano in 21 tells us climate change is happening. Human activity may well play a role. There are other arguably more pressing environmental issues as well. Air pollution, particularly in developing countries, is a hazardous to human health. Right now, climate change is only getting worse. Evans in 22 says the Biden's administration shifting focus to great power competition could draw resources and attention away from improving domestic disaster response capabilities, even as these requirements become increasingly urgent. GPC only discourages joint solutions to climate change. Why in 22 says China and the United States, the two biggest global economies, are also the biggest polluters and consumers of, of the world's resources. Their natural security affects everyone else's, both in terms of meeting demand and dealing with the consequences of high consumption. Hanani on 22 tells us believing and acting as if the United States is in a great power competition with China and Russia, American foreign policy makes cooperation more difficult to achieve for a limited payoff in terms of accomplishing national security goals or helping people abroad. Before GPC, the great powers were determined to solve problems through international institutions, like the World Health Organization, United Nations, Arctic Council, and NRLD Trade Organization. Competition discourages working through international frameworks. If we altered our course from GPC and found a more viable strategy, we could see an undeniable impact. Hanani and 22 proves this by saying by scaling back military commitments in Eastern Europe and Asia to promote burden sharing, relying on moral persuasion rather than the threat of force, to spread American values, and seeking negotiated settlements in developing world conflicts, the U.S. can engage in more healthy forms of competition and focus on pursuing delinkage of issues like trade, climate, and human rights. Because we use the strategy of great power competition, we now face the harms of prevarication on global issues. For the reasons of global war, environment, and societal welfare, we are so proud to negate today's resolution. Thank you. Okay. Um, if my talk, if it cuts out, that's happened before. So just let me know. Okay. Okay, my time will begin when I start speaking. We affirm the resolution. Our sole contention is deterrence. Our subpoint A is innovation. The U.S. approach to the great power conflict is reliant on innovation. The future of U.S. military competitiveness depends on the ability to refine a leader in innovation. China's approach to the JPC is sparking Chinese innovation. Kanaya 18 says that the China has emerged as a technological powerhouse. China has achieved dominance in supercomputing as artificial has emerged as a Priority at the highest levels. China is advancing on an all-nation strategy to advance next-generation AI development for military. The current U.S. model for innovation has looked to the private sector as the engine of innovation for science and defense. Major U.S. companies are seemingly starting to devote less research than many have historically, focusing on stages that are more likely to be lucrative. Private funding may not be enough national competitiveness and innovation. There is past precedent of power competition leading to innovation. Look at the space race. Royal Museum, Museum Greenwich says that the space race produced groundbreaking efforts to launch artificial satellites, space probes, and human space voyages. Cyberspace is a key part of great power competition. Link 20 says that cyberspace has emerged as a new great power battle space and has motivated the U.S. to develop their own cyberspace attacks and defense capabilities. The U.S. cyber capabilities were initially purely defensive. Domingo 16 says that since the early 1990s, the U.S. initially focused on developing defensive capabilities due to increasing cyber attacks after multiple. The PRC, the U.S. military realized that it needed to challenge the PRC by developing a clear strategy. The U.S.'s attribution to capabilities have greatly improved, cementing deterrence in cyberspace. CRE 22 says that the U.S. government has recently decreased the time it takes to make these attribution and also make the public information. Hohen and SMAD 20 says that investments will develop resilient networks of and information ecosystems defending against to provide attribution while defending against actors during cyber attacks. The impact is miscalculation. Perkovich 21 says that cyber operations could be misattributed, producing a mistaken perception that once clear forces are under attack or adversary nuclear weapons have launched, decision making could be degraded due to the fact lost confidence in critical systems. Subpoint B is Saudi Arabia nuclear proliferation. The APC has forced the U.S. to maintain their sphere of influence. 
around the world militarily, especially in the Middle East. Hoffman 22 says that the great power competition is now where the U.S. must remain deeply engaged in the Middle East due to China and Russia's expanding president presence in the region. Sp U.S. is especially tied to Saudi Arabia, and U.S. Department of State 22 says that the U.S. and Saudi Arabia have long-lasting security relationship, and that Saudi Arabia is the U.S.'s largest foreign military sales customer. Saudi Arabia is threatened by other Middle Eastern countries, but the U.S. nuclear umbrella deters them. Grim 21 says that Saudi Arabia must comfort Iran, Israel, Iraq, and Yemen. The nuclear weapon would be used as defensive deterrence tool. The United States is most effectively allied that they can benefit from the American nuclear umbrella. Absent the U.S. security umbrella, Saudi Arabia would start to proliferate. Bradley 8 says that if Saudi Arabia believes the U.S. cannot protect the kingdom, then the regimen would pursue an independent nuclear deterrent. Saudi Arabia could Saudi could easily acquire nukes. Wilson 19 says that the current Saudi regimen could negotiate the Khan administration and the Pakistani High Command to rapidly acquire operational nuke warheads. This would create extremely unstable scenario um, in the Middle East. Edmund 11 says that and it could erode the remaining barriers to nuclear proliferation. This is a bad prolif and the states cause nuclear conflict. Crowing 14 says that new nuclear states lack secure second strike capability and states might believe that there's incentive to use nuclear weapons first. Nuclear weapons are more likely to engage in con nuclear weapon states are more likely to engage in conflict. Aggressiveness is more pronounced in nuclear states that have less experience with nuclear di diplomacy, which is why we again affirm the resolution and urge a pro ballot. Okay, are you ready for crossfire? Since I spoke first, can I have the first question? Sure. Your clock up. Okay. Um, is everybody ready? Yeah. Um, perfect. Okay, so what did you say your biggest impact was in your in your first? Yeah. No, what was your first contention? I mean, what's your impact? Uh, we had one contention deterrence, and we had a bunch of set points. What was the impact of that? Yeah, let me find it. Um, this is a long case, so I can have my partner find the impact. Can I have a question? I just that it's on my flow. Is your impact, um, is your impact, what was it, like miscommunication from cyber attacks? Um, yeah, miscalculation, miscalculation and deaths. Okay, so what does cyber attacks have to do with the United States' strategy of great power competition? Yeah, it was in the case. Wait, you mean uh, cyberspace? What's your link to your point, your impact to the resolution? Okay, we said that the Great Power Convention is sparking innovation and cyber tax was part of innovation and that the strategy is helping innovation and innovation is um, going to strengthen um, like um, deterrence to cyber attacks. So okay, cyber huh? So cyber attacks are a good thing? No, innovation will create deterrence to cyber attacks. So there'd be less cyber attacks with innovation, which comes from the strategy of the great power competition. Can I have a question? That impact happening right now, this is my last question. Do you see that impact happening right now? No, but the it's based off of the status quo. But you can't, you can also see that happening. I misspoke. Okay, in your first contention, you said that it would be worse than, than COVID-19, but do you mean by deaths or there'd be a similar disease come out of this competition? Okay, so the point of that, the point of that card in our in our first contention is basically just kind of like an example of how global hegemony leads to like um, bioweapons program experimentations that could lead to extinction level power. That when you say global hegemony, do you mean all countries are hegemons or the US is the hegemon in the world? We're kind of applying it to the three countries that we consider to be part of the GPC, which is Russia, China, and America. So then all the other countries that you aren't considering part of the GPC, they don't matter as much? Like, okay, so their which life and ideas don't? Who are in the GPC right now? I'm not sure. What, what were you going to say? Like Russia and China and the U.S.? Yeah, are those the countries in the GPC? We can agree on that. But also other countries are linked, like Saudi Arabia and other countries that are linked to, like, hedge funds in the in the world. 
Okay. In countries that are participating in the Great Power Competition. These small countries are linked to hegemons, and all of these small countries that you say are linked to them are having big issues. What's the like the main like what's like the common barrier like that's like causing all these problems? Wait, why are you asking me that? Is that about my case? It's about it's about your sub point B, but that's time. And we'll take about a couple minutes. I mean, a minute of prep. That's what. All right, and if everybody's ready, how much, uh, can I ask how much prep time was used? Or, all right. Uh, we had a minute. Minute, okay, thank you. And if everyone's ready, I'm going to start right now. And their contention one, they talk about deterrence, and that's what their whole soul contention is about. And their contention one, so point A, they talk about how the space race and how that is a benefit for great power competition, but this is in fact false. Wing and our first response to this is that Wing in 20 states of the U.S. attempted project of power in space and competition with China will lead to escalation and an arms race in space. The U.S. is pushing to compete with China in space when the United States claims that the that seeks counterbalance China in space. What that released realistically implies is that the U.S. seeks resources and power in space. As a result, the United States power product projection into space will lead to militarization and eventually eventually a space arms race. The impact from this is that the U.S. efforts to control a military space will be met by an arms race. And there's some point B, they talk about Saudi Arabia and how that stables a country, but great power competition does the opposite and actually affects human rights in Saudi Arabia. Our first response to this is that foreign investment is actually harmful. Daniel Colon 13 explains how investment discourages small businesses from entering markets. Domestic firms are not efficient enough to compete with foreign art firms, for example, due to technological gap. Um, we also are going to say that our second response to this is that it increases poverty if we actually help the country. Mohammed Nishni states that pro-public government expenditures are recognized in the different categories in the literature or Investor in 2022 or 2002 identified the str strongest candidates to be classified as pro poor expenditures as the social specters expenditures, health, education, and sanitation. Well, Matt Ge Ge Gelbery included the expenditure on rural ro roads, microcredit, and agriculture extensions and technology in the list of pro public expenditures, as may also be beneficial to the poor. We are saying that investments in Saudi Arabia and actually helping Saudi Arabia does not help and stabilize the country and only makes it worse. Us being in the co great power competition only de decreases human rights in that in that sense. Lastly, we uphold the framework throughout this round. The framework of today's round is societal welfare. And, the, we, and in their contentions, they talk about stabilizing and investments in the countries and also um, ad, uh, advancements in the country where that does not uphold the framework in today's round. The framework is helping people. In our, con in our contentions and in our impacts, we talk about saving people's lives lives and also global war. Global war is a bad impact that on the in the current state right now in the world that we are in. Our second impact is that the climate we are in is increasing and getting worse. It's hazardous to human health and our sub point A for environment is saying that our environment is 
becoming worse because of the Russia and Ukraine war. We see nothing but a pro ballot or a calm ballot in today's round. Thank you. Okay, I will take running prep and I'm going, let me put my timer. I'm going to start that, it's four minutes, correct? We have three minutes on our clock. Last round we used four minutes. Judge, do you know what the... So they set it to four minutes, I believe, what the last judge said, but yeah. it's about four minutes. Like on the clock, we have it as four, but uh, when it's written down, it's on three. So, Judge, what are we using? For Sorry, you? I'm getting a little bit of loss here. So, last round, our judge told us to use four minutes of prep time, um, and I'm just wondering what we're using. Oh, for. three minutes of prep. No, three, three minutes, minutes of prep. prep. I, I thought okay. you meant for the round. No, All three right. minutes of prep. I am going to start running prep now. Okay, I am stopping time at 50 seconds, which means I we have two minutes and 10 seconds left. Judge, is a brief off-time roadmap. First, I will be going over my opponent's cases, proving why all of their points fall through. And then I will be going over their rebuttal, proving why none of their arguments on, or why any of their blocks on our arguments stand. And then I will be moving on to framework if time allows. This, my time will begin on my first word. On their first contention of global war, China will not risk war for Min 21. China lags behind the U.S. It will not match the U.S. in conventional means. A head-to-head -head conflict would thus be too dangerous to China. Furthermore, the U.S. strategy reduces war Sanwa 21, U U.S. military powers based on deterrence. Next, if we stop the GPC, this immediately leads to nuclear war in the Middle East, as stated in our case. This means that the, if the U.S. stops that U.S. stops war with the current strategy. We turn this argument with the Middle East. Without a GPC connecting us to the Middle Eastern powers, conflicts would worsen in four ways. First is losing leverage. Rogan 18. Our war in Israel will lose interest in a ceasefire. Trump earns Saudi trust and, def and deference on issues affecting America. Colette 18 notes that the Sa Saudis will be less restrained and they will no longer feel the need to, to uh, acquiescence to to U.S. requests. Second is accurate targeting. Rogan continues, if the U.S. pulls support from the Saudi alliance, the Saudis will lose accurate targeting. American guidance has helped them target Hothni formations rather than the entire city blocks. Saudis would care little about killing thousands more civilians. America is the only check on them. Fourth is Russian. Is, is Russian Phil and Colette and Goldberg 18. A uh, divorce will not cause the Saudis to walk away from Yemen. Russian, Russians will simply will supply them with less acute weapons that kill more. At best, there is no impact because foreign powers fill in which non-uniqueness case. At worst, Chinese and Russian backing the region would be terrible for human rights and would probably start many wars to expand authoritarian influence. On to the next point of climate. We turn this argument, climate cooperation does not work. Only competition solves. Rafi 22 finds that in Chinese climate change does not hold the same importance as it does in Americans. Negotiating with China cannot curtail climate change. Beijing would, would impose an unacceptable costs while failing to deliver. Mutualitarianism, mutualitarianism is is reaching its limits. The most effective answers will not come from global framework. Instead, competition on on climate change is the strongest po position the world could be in. Um, Specifically on the cooperation being better than competition, this argument implies that things like the Cold War were good because we saw innovation but did not see death. This is a bad argument for two reasons. First is better ways for better innovation. Military spending wastes a lot of resources on only some innovation. On, on, on some uh, resources. Uh, resources on some innovation gener which is actually generally useful. Two, escalation in the future has strong potential for harm for war. The reason that we haven't seen war in the past is because of luck and because of mutually assured destruction. Um, furthermore, the current strategy does not draw away from resources and costs and, and on funding. 
we turn this argument, U.S. great power conflict is key to minimize defense spending, defense spending and, and brand 17. America's security guarantees allows allies to underbuild the military. This averts the arms race in earlier eras. Empirically, brands continues the U.S. guarantees Asia and climate change of security, which Japan could be revised economically. We also turn this argument, defense costs are low, brand and fever 17, that find that the U.S. is security commitments to over 30 allies and formal co uh, commitments in 30 countries. If the U United States pulled from these commitments and waited uh, for a crisis, it would find a mission more difficult and expensive than protecting allies in the first place. Finally, on foreign countries, the GPC is good for foreign countries. We turn this argument that the U.S. Has become, is becoming increasingly democratic as White House 22 finds. Uh, we also turn this argument saying that allowing Russia and Chinese spheres of influence to increase authoritarianism. Brand 20 writes that Russia's and China's sphere of influence will be domains over authoritarianism. Uh, if, if Moscow and Beijing dominated, they would not seek to under they would seek to undermine democratic governments and that resist their control. Prefer on severity. Countries that supported by Russia and China are indefinitely more undemocratic than countries supported by the U.S. The only way to preserve li liberalism is through American hegemony. Cajun twenty one. The, we also turn this argument saying that the U.S. has led states to freedom. Boot 18 finds that the U.S. has been greatest force in freedom. It has assisted in overthrowing tyrannies and hostile states and allies such as the Philippines, Egypt, Panama, South Korea, and Taiwan. Onto their rebuttal, they talk about the space arms race and contentions. Our contentions do not talk about that, meaning that our cases flow through. Let's say that great power conflict is, is the opposite of helping Saudi Arabia saying that foreign investment is bad because it hurts U.S. businesses. We just said that the presence of the of the U.S. backed GPC, great, great power conflict backed U.S., stabilizes the, the Middle East. This means that we are not investing money and meaning we are not hurting businesses our framework is the on the framework of saving lives people all over the world and the middle east means that uh the decreasing nuclear threat meaning we uh help the most people thank you and please vote in affirmation all right and since i spoke first i'll have the first question yeah. all right so what was your turn against our first contention or second contention sub point a about our environment what was our turn on the environment? Let me pull that up. Okay. Um, so for the environment, uh, give me a second to find it. Climate cooperation does not work. Only competition solves, and this is from Rethi 22. It pretty much says that climate change does not hold the same importance in China as it does for America, I'm which means that- I'm talking what? about environment. What? I'm not talking about climate change. I'm talking about the environment. We have two different sub points. So what 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 do you mean? What is your point on the environment? So in the environment, we're talking about how Russia saw Ukraine as Ukraine as a threat, and now Ukraine has a uh, water supply, water supply infrastructure, and also other chemical plants, energy facilities that are affected right now. So did you uh, have we for this point we cross apply our points that without the U.S. Um, power and like uh, had, and like uh, authority over the world then like the conflicts will only worsen. So if you're saying that the like Russia is attacking Ukraine, then we'll just see this worsen. So you're saying U.S. intervening is bad and it's will good. it's good. It's okay. Good. Did you have a question? Without it, it's just going to exponentially increase worse. All right. Uh, can I have a question as well? Yes. So uh, against our against our second sub point, I believe you Saudi say Arabia. Um, against that, you say that the against our sub point of Saudi Arabia, you say that foreign investment is bad for the U.S. Uh, because it hurts U.S. businesses. Can you like? Sorry. I just don't understand so, where you're getting the fact that we're investing like money into Saudi Arabian businesses. So you want a specific card as saying that we invest our money into Saudi Arabia. I just want to know what you're responding to in our case with that. Okay. So you guys are saying that the U S stabilizes this country, correct? Yes. Okay. So the what US I'm saying is that we putting our investment into this country is only worsening we're affecting their human rights and we're also affecting like we're increasing poverty in that country because we're involved in it. So you're saying that you would in, that you would rather have us not invest in them and completely back out and lead to nuclear war in the Middle East. Because we're in, like increasing their poverty and also having a detrimental effect to the human rights, then yes, I think we should back out of that. So nuclear war is more is less important than uh, cost. 
is what you're saying. Wait, what? You're saying because what I got was that the cost of that it's like affecting U.S. businesses and that we're hurting like uh, Saudi Arabian. Um, yeah, I'm saying we're hurting Saudi Arabian because of our investments. Okay. And I and that's more important than nuclear war. Time. Okay. Um, can you take um, some prep time? And then how are we timing prep? Because you asked, do you want us to keep time for you? Um, no, we can take take our own time from here if it's been a minute. But I was just wondering if the judge was taking our time or not. Okay. 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 And then uh, I'm just start that. Now. Can you can you restart? I I apologize. My I lost connection there for a moment. Can can you restart? I'm not sure. They're taking prep. Yeah, we're gonna Should've take. Got started with the summary. Okay. No, we yeah. I believe that's prep. Does that look right for you guys too? Sorry, can you repeat that real quick? That looks like it's prep. That, does that look does that look okay on you guys? That's All right, sorry, one more time. Yeah, I think, I think we're good. Okay. Okay, just making sure that we're all on the same page here. Okay. If everybody's ready. Oh wait, first. Judge, are you okay with off time roadmaps? Speaking beyond me now. I'm sorry. I, I'm sure it's fine. Okay. So first of all, we're going to do framework. Then we're going to do some defense, some offense. And if I have time, some impact calculus. And I'll begin right now. Okay. So the first is framework. We win the framework in the round because we are the only one with the framework. So you are weighing on societal welfare because we must focus on each individual. And we need to help as many lives as we can. Now let's go into some defense. They said China won't, on our first contention, they said that China won't risk war, but here's the issue. Tensions and petty wars are still going on. Rising tensions causes domestic and international problems and disagreement, something that is so important in order to actually push for changes, which links back into our subpoint B, uh, uh, to our card of Hanania 22 about international frameworks, but we'll get back on that later. They said climate cooperation doesn't work, but it will never work if we don't try to work together. It's a try or die judge don't let my opponents paint this picture remember our untouched card of wyatt in 22 don't let them tell you otherwise they said that they prevent war through they said on our on response of our contention two and our sub point b they said that we actually prevented wars through luck and mutually assured dest destruction so judge 
Which is it? Is it the United States' strategy of great power competition, or is it the United States' strategy of mutually assured destruction? They turned our they turned our Hanania and twenty two card, but their turn has zero link. Nowhere in that card do we concede to the, to the idea of allowing Russia and China to have a larger sphere of influence globally. So don't so don't buy this argument, Judge. Now let's go over their case. Their sole contention has a weird link chain. In their sub point A, they say that GPC sparked China's innov innovation, but they also stated that it made China achieve tech technological dominance. How is this a good thing? How is this a good impact? But if we look further, they link innovation to cyber attacks. Innovation led to the creation of cyber weaponry, which my opponents said themselves wasn't a good thing. Actually, because of cyber we weaponry, we have increased tensions globally, and this directly proves our first our first contention of global war. So their, their entire subpoint A flows on the con side, including their impact, their sole impact of cyber miscommunication. Their subpoint B talks about how nuclear prolifer about nuclear proliferation, but judge, the issue we have with nuclear bombs is because of hegemony. In the global quest to become number one, we, we rush towards an extreme nuclear proliferation between the great powers. So we actually turn this because their main harm was caused by their impact and by the pro side of the resolution. So in the pros world, we actually see more nuclear proliferation and we see how this can link back into the Middle East. Judge, they try to link they try to link the Middle East into the United States, but like what, what, what does that have to do with the United States? a strategy of great power competition. What does it have to do with the great powers? We understand geopolitical positioning, but under the but under the resolution, this has no link and no warrant. Do not buy do not buy their arguments about Saudi Arabia. Now for some impact calculus. The only strong and standing impacts in today's round, the only strong and standing impacts in today's round are glo are global war and environment. Uh, these both affect all 8 billion people on the planet and we see it already happening now. We see the probability of global war rising as we stay in the pro world and for these reasons, we are, we see nothing but a con ballot. Thank you. Okay. Your mic is cutting out. Can you hear me? No, we can't. Okay, so should we go on the call? Okay. Okay, so this has been happening. I think Yeah, we'll pause for a solution. Here, we'll keep our hands in frame so we're not Okay, um so I think my partner is going to have to talk through my computer. Is that okay with everybody? Just so that does not happen. Um, all right, can you try talking, Sophia, to see if they can hear you? Can you hear me? Is there like a really bad echo? Okay, um, so my partner left the round so that they can not have the echo. I see. Very good. Thank you. Oh, my battery is about to die. Okay. Live streaming is on. Can you hear me? There we go. Okay. Um, my time will begin uh, when I start speaking. Okay. We begin it from the resolution. Beginning with the issues that the US strategy and the great power competition having more benefits and harms we shared one main reason, deterrence. The great power competition will be a catalyst of innovation and defense and science, helping deterrence efforts. The U.S.'s deterrence strategies will prevent proliferation in, we in weapons in other countries, which would otherwise lead to nuclear war. They failed to respond to our point about miscalculation in nuclear conflict. They said that their impact was global war, but ours outweighs and holds still with the millions and billions or billions of lives that would be saved to nuclear war determines that would otherwise die from nuclear war. 
This also won't result to war because China is behind the U.S. as the U.S. is a hegemon in the world. Their first contention is not going to happen since China is weaker than the United States. The U.S. military strategy is based on deterrence, as our contention says. They said that we... They said that we just said that it was mutually assured destruction to stop war, but they failed to take into account the account of anti new technology, which innovation would only strengthen. They said that the U.S. strategy doesn't help and actually is detrimental to the people in Saudi Arabia. But as said in my constructive, Saudi Arabia is protected by the United States, a hegemon that has much global influence. As said, the U.S. and Saudi Arabia are in a security agreement. In addition, war is not likely because of innovation, which we link through instances like cyber tech and in space in a space race. But with innovation, anti-nuclear technology will be advanced as long as technology uh, uh, technology to offset emissions like green tech being made between U.S. and China. On the note of the space race, they said that it would be bad for the U.S. to attempt to control space, but there are benefits to having a hold on space, much as ma as material only. Other countries like China will take from space, and then the U.S. will be farther behind and have a loss of control on a, on a lot of important resources. They also said that foreign investment is bad, but FDI produces billions of dollars into the U.S., not only helping local economies and producing jobs, but also following into the, into the U.S. government. My partner said that the U.S. is being more diplomatic about it, too, with international relationships. On their constructive, they brought up the strategy will draw resources, resources away, but innovation is, sesful, is essential for a prosperous country and will allow for resources to be protected through green tech and foreign aid in foreign aid from countries like how the u.s is in you in the u.n and can get aid from other countries also a part of it renewable ener energy will show through more than ever in the u.s not only will help domestic issues but global issues through contagious diffusion so we negate their climate contention leaving our points of innovative development and technological technological spurs still standing. Lastly, they said that there will be a war decline on their first contention, but that is not true as we proved in our construction and rebuttal. Con countries and supranational organizations will protect each other. And if they were to change the strategy as the ne negation says to stop war, things like proxy wars would happen, which is not good as the Russia and Ukraine war proves. Competition with good cooperation will allow for spur innovation leading to many beneficial things. Finally, for weighing in addition to what I said earlier, they said our impact doesn't matter, but that means that they don't think human lives matter, which is most most severe, severe above any type of monetary value because our impact is miscalculation, which saves millions of lives with nuclear war, which nuclear war would otherwise ensure. The U.S.'s strategy and standing in the world will not create more benefits and harm, which is why we, again, affirm the resolution and urge a pro-ballot. Oh, yeah. Okay. So since we spoke first, can we have the first question? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So then I will begin. Okay. Where in our case say that there would be a decline in war? Um, in your, um, in your first contention about global war, you said that there won't be a decline in war, and we're saying that there will be. I'm pretty oh, sure you oh, said okay. something about war declining. Okay, yes, I understand what you mean. Okay, uh, do you have a question? Um, pardon, do you have, my do you have one? No, okay. Okay, I can ask one if you guys don't have one. Uh, sure. No, actually, I do have a question. Um, so you talk a lot about, so you're, you talk a lot about, um, uh, climate change, uh, correct? You're talking about, uh, like, specifically global warming not the environment, you do say have a point on that, correct? We do have a point on global warming, yes. Okay, so um, furthermore on that, how is cooperation any better with like the current, with like how China is like negotiates and deals with the US than co competition would be? Okay, again, so look back to Werner Hanania and 20 card where it was basically just telling you that because we've kind of like create because we have this competition between china and the united states and we're the biggest polluters and the biggest like producers in the world it just kind of keeps us from having that from having that cooperation to try to deal with the consequences of high consumption so therefore it directly links back into uh climate change or the uh consequences of high consumption between the two countries. The right, can I have a follow -up? Oh. yes okay um, if my partner's not gonna go. Okay, my follow-up question is: You say that climate change, there's all this pollution. So if there's already pollution, like that's the status quo. So what's like, 
are you saying that the great power competition is going to cause more than there already is? So we're saying right now that a lot of the pollution and the environmental harms are actually caused by GPC because GPC is happening right now. We're saying that a lot of the yeah. like pollution in countries like Ukraine, for example, with the Russian Ukraine situation is like directly linking back into the current GPC status quo. So it's not like because we can't quantify how bad the environment will be in X in like 15 years because that's you can't quantify that. So what we're, we're focusing on right now is the status quo and like empirically. Can we ask a question? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you guys say that like innovation leads to anti-nuke technology, but can you guys concede to the idea that the reason why nuclear proliferation even happened in the first place was because of uh, great power competitions? No, we we do not concede that because we have seen so like. Why, so then, why was nuclear proliferation such a big problem in the Cold War? I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. Why did nuclear? I just finished what you were gonna say. No, 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 just wait, finish before you were like, just can, can you finish your question? Yes. Our question is, is the, does, uh, okay. So nuclear, nuclear, nuclear proliferation, uh, grew, like start, like started in the cold war during, like when the first war competition started, like the empirical war competition started. So like, can't you guys concede to the idea that because of the great power competition at that time, it led to nuclear proliferation? We well, first of all, it doesn't matter if we concede that or not, because of the fact that like if like if we stop the great power competition, there will still be nuclear like there will be nuclear probabilities and there will be wars that will happen as we have so, so, so we're over time. Okay. Okay, I just need to hold up. I just went to three reasons. First, the framework welfare. Whereas two will just framework. They have been benefiting success of parents innovation. They have built up this impact all throughout the round, but judge this impact does not flow through the framework of societal welfare. We do. We have the impacts of climate, environment, and global war. And remember, Judge, they have dropped this the whole round. The second reason is that they did not direct the issue in the environment. This argument is so important in today's round because believing in the US is in great power position with Russia and China, American foreign policy makes cooperation more difficult to achieve for a limited plan in terms of accomplishing national security goals or helping people prosper. Our third and final reason why we win today's round is because we had an attack on our case, which how was how GPC does not secure human rights and only decreases human rights and poverty in Silver Arabia, and they did not attack defend this on their case in their summary speech. Now, uh, before GPC, the great powers were determined to solve problems through international institutions like the World Health Organization and United States and United Nations. Now, back onto our final reason is because we used strategy of great power competition and we now face the harms of creation of global issues like trade, climate, and human rights. For these reasons of global war, environment, and societal welfare, we are proud to negate this resolution. Thank you. I would like to take running prep starting now. Wait, sorry to interrupt. I need to leave to get a charger. It's about to die.
Okay. Uh, is anybody not ready? All right. I will begin my speech on my first word. Judge, this round has resulted in a clear AF ballot. Onto their case. First, they say that we will start global war with the great power conflict. As we have shown, the U.S. is based in military deterrence. This means that their strategy is to stop nuclear war, not to go with it. And China will not risk a war with a more powerful U.S. This was... This was turned saying that this that stopping great power competition actually starts a nuclear war with Saudi Arabia. And they said that Saudi Arabia should not matter because it's not in the U.S. But as we have proven through great power conflict, it is directly the U.S. backing out of great power conflict is directly involved with how Saudi Arabia and the Middle East would would lead to nuclear war. Judge, just because they are not a part of the U.S. does not mean that their lives should not matter. We must take them into consideration with it as much as anything else in the round. On to the point of uh, their second point of climate. They never adequately refuted the fact that China would impose unfair demands for cooperation with green technology as we have, as they have been shown to do with their attitudes towards co cooperation in the current. And competition is much superior, which is why we are seeing the status quo, uh, which is what we are seeing in the status quo with innovations in green technology. We can see that the environment will be helped with the better technology as well. On to our case, we have shown that Saudi, that Saudi Arabia will throw the Middle East into a nuclear war, which would be devastating consequences, if not for the U.S. being there and imposing that and uh, imposing the deterrence that it has been shown to do. Uh which would lead to devastating consequences. And they have only said that Saudi Arabia's human rights is hurt is hurt by the U.S.'s great power conflict, but nuclear war in the Middle East would be much worse and it would affect much more people. Next, miscalculation leads to the same effect. We are not saying that great power conflict is, rep is responsible for cyber attacks, but it helps stop them. Clearly, our in uh, but it helps stop them and the innovation helps uh, 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 stop miscalculation. Clearly, our impacts have flowed through and theirs have not. On to Wang. We win by saving the most lives through uh, through war and climate change due to our turn. Therefore, through, do, for the framework of helping the most people, we have shown that we that we do help the most people. And this round has resulted in a clear AF ballot. Judge, please vote in affirmation. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much, everyone. Could I have everyone's name so I can know? Uh on Rigby VH, I'm Brianna. And okay. For uh, West High School SS, I'm Shaw, and she is Selzman. Great. Thank you so much. Good job, guys. That was an awesome Thank round. You. Thank you, guys. Good job.